Welcome to News with XGN, your source for all things video games. I'm your host Xanthi S and every week we will be diving into the latest news and all the exciting updates, good or bad, from the video games industry. First story for today, we have Miss Mika, a Twitch streamer, beat Elden Ring's DLC Shadow of the Earth Tree with her dance mat as a controller. So, what she did is nothing short of spectacular. So Elden Ring Twitch streamer Miss Mika has become the first person to complete Shadow of the Earth Tree while using a dance mat as a controller, overcoming the DLC's brutal final boss on the 50 second try. Let's see what she did. Look at look at her. Look, look, she is doing it with her dance mat. That is amazing. This is what I call skills. Okay, moving on to the next story. Next, we have a Kickstarter game that will wake up the 90s nostalgia in you. And I'm talking about Tiny Garden, which is a farm simulation game that looks like an adorable Polly Pocket and it's going to be available for PC and Switch. So if you were a Polly Pocket owner, this kickstarted game might be a perfect crossover that ever happened for you, especially if you enjoy farm simulations like Stardew Valley. You can start your own farm and grow your vegetables in this tiny garden that may bring you back memories from the 90s if you are that old. Now, let's see a bit more about this story from Eurogamer. It is described as a tiny farming and easygoing strategy game inside a tiny toy from the 90s. Now, while developer Ayo Norte, if I'm saying it correctly, doesn't specify it further, but it is immediately apparent that Tiny Garden's quaint toy aesthetic has been inspired by Polly Pocket, which is a clam shell opening, dolls, house-like levels, and of course, it's Tiny Garden. Now, at the time of writing, Tiny Garden has ra raised £7,368 of its 4,234 Kickstarter goal, uh, with 350 backers supporting the project. So, it reached its initial goal in just one hour, but if you're keen to also get involved, the Kickstarter is running until 1st August. This is cool, right? Let's move on and let's go to something more dynamic. Okay. This is going to be good. We have Call of Duty Wars on mobile releases a chicken fry your enemy's weapon. Now, this weapon addition applies only to the mobile version of the game. And I'm reading this from GameNewsBytes.com, which is my own RSS feed website. And you're welcome to go and browse it. Now, you can turn your enemies into fried chicken. First, you load your weapon with a raw chicken. That is true. Then you adjust it and you cook the chicken. Then you eat it and then you're ready to start shooting and turn all the players from the opposite side into fried chicken and pieces of nuggets. Some gamers have said that the game feels watered down. Do you feel like weapons like this destroy the cool and tough character of the title or does it make it more fun and accessible since it is a mobile game after all? Is it becoming similar to Fortnite? What do you say? I personally have never played the mobile version, but I understand. The, I guess when you play on your phone, it's supposed to be more like lightweight, more fun. So yeah, sure. But then again, it is Call of Duty and like fried chicken. I don't know. Tell me, what do you think? Let's move on to the next story. The next story, it's a kind of a false alarm. So, Sorry, the creators of L.A. Noir aren't working on a new game after all. Do you remember L.A. Noir? It is a noir aesthetics video game uh, that it was actually I played that I loved it. It was so cool. And there have been rumors that they're working on a new game. But Video Games Deluxe is not working on a new video game, according to them. It was a misunderstanding caused by a composer commissioned by the studio to work on an L.A. Noir part that didn't make it to the final product. But this was never to be used as a new game, only as a tech demo. Let's see what they say. We go to vg247.com and despite what you might have seen, the creators of L.A. Noir aren't working on a new game, sorry to say. Earlier this week, Australian composer Freya Garbett posted on Instagram talking about a new project from the creators of L.A. Noir, even giving it a name. From the creators of L.A. Noir comes Soden House, a psychological thriller also set in the 1940s in L.A. that will have you questioning your sanity, Garbage wrote in a now deleted post. The project has been huge and it is still unraveling and revealing itself to me. 
that's what she wrote and I never thought I'd be writing for a video game but I'm grateful for the opportunity however uh, the studio founded by Brendan McNamara founder of the now defunct Tim Bondi the original studio behind LA Noir, which is now called video games deluxe shared a statement explaining that no there isn't a game and uh, cleared the air on the post from Garbet. I think it's Garbet or Garbet. I'm sorry, I apologize. Now, we are working exclusively, he said, on projects for Rockstar. We commissioned some music from a local composer, Freya Garbet, for a VR project that we were working on a number of years ago when between projects. It is based on a case from L.A. Noir that did not make the cut, but it was more of a tech demo than anything else. We have no idea whether this will ever see the light of day, but we decided to finish the score commission to support a local composer. So I was excited for a new game from uh, the creators of L.A. Noir as I really enjoyed the game. But yeah, OK, it didn't happen. That's OK. So that wraps up this week's edition of News with XGN. Thank you for joining me, Xanthi S, as we explore the week's latest and greatest news in the video game industry. Don't forget to check out our website, like and subscribe and follow us on social media. Also keep an eye for our stream schedule where I and my co-host Grimskull and Emicute, we are streaming playing video games and having fun while arguing and not paying attention to each other, you know, all those things. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.